Woohoo! I am so happy, guys. Look at this. I actually didn't do a single thing, but that's a cool part. Now I'm adding food. Gonna go in this food tab. And ba 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 ching And you're going to get to be able to move the food just like a decoration. Chop chop. Let's go, guys. Passion, determination, love, sadness. Let's do it. Okay, so I decided I'm gonna have food bricks that are the shape of hay bales. I know. Just awesome. So I needed some hay bale art and I did not steal anything well mostly because all of this doesn't really feel all that fitting for my game at all so i resulted in drawing my own hay bales cue the music <laughs> whoops wrong one ah much better here comes baby bale here comes brother bale here comes papa bale that's right guys <clears throat> so with that being said you know what guys i think this looks just so good um, that's that's complete sarcasm so you know what let's just stop looking at it because i don't really want to look at it at all let's just hurry up and put it in my game <laughs> all right so fast forward five minutes the food bales work completely now so now we can go into the store over here and go to bales and i'm probably gonna change this to kelp or something because um horses eat hay sheep eat hay goats eat hay but uh fish do not eat a so i don't know so we can go in here and just buy the best one the biggest best one because i'm the biggest and the best <laughs> anyway so here's a food bale you can move it around just like a decoration uh blah 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 blah, blah, blah ta -da. so the funny thing is i wasn't really thinking about this in the future so i had to refactor my moving script a lot and now it d moves both of them so yeah here's the brown bale you could sell it for a lot because you bought it for a lot and it has it hasn't expired long story short it should feed fish i haven't tested it once i coated it in so let's see if this works food oh yes yes go to the bell go to the bell go to the bell go to the yes eat it eat it um there is a crew ah oh, darn it such a simple mistake that would have been so cool guys all right so it should work now Oh, he just ate. Look at that sucker. He took a big fat bite out of that big bale. Let's buy more fish. Eat my babies. Eat. <laughs> yes. Nice. Now, it kind of looks weird how they go behind the bale. Uh, no problem, guys. I can just go here and change the layers. Boom. Now they're behind the fish, which should be the default layer. I don't know. <laughs> but the bales don't work fully yet because... If I go offline like this and stop playing the game, well, guess what? They're going to stop eating the bales and they're still going to die. So I have to fix that somehow. Okay, so I didn't fix the problem, but I did do something pretty cool. So if you go into the shop and I changed it from time to meals and the more meals the item has, you guessed it, you can feed more fish for a longer time. Now the haystack can feed 25 fish for two days and this one can feed 25 fish for 30 days. But let's just try buying the food bale and see if it still reacts normally with the refactor. Fish, 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 bop, 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 bop. They're going toward it. There's 11 fish. It should be like 175 minus 11. Aha! Look at that. Oh, okay, so there's a couple of problems already. Number one, the cell cost is broken. Number two, this slider is broken. Awesome. Let me just do this and get back to you, boss. <laughs> <sighs> no. All right, I'm not gonna tell you how it turned out, but I'm just gonna walk you through it with me. Let's go to the menu, and guess what? The big round bale, guys. You know, me and you are quality specimen, so we're only getting the best. And it costs so much, but I don't care. Take a look at this bad sucker. I immediately lose 50% of the cost. But you know what, guys? Let's go feed some fish with this bale. You know, I can feed fish like this and actually like save a lot of money. We're not about that life. We're about to have life, man. And I just spawn a bunch of non copyright fish. Oh, they're eating the wrong food. No. You can eat that food. Okay, they're out of that food. Look how much value we lose. Come on, look at this. Oh, yeah, we lost 500 coins, but you know what guys it was worth it because now we can sell this fish 
Okay, now I actually need to make sure that they get fed offline. So, boring math, blah blah blah, I have to do it. Huh, <sighs> sigh sigh, I'll see you in a minute. I didn't record the footage, but the bales actually feed the fish while the player is offline. Anyways, I added um, player naming and player data. There's levels and names and experience and whatnot. Whew. This is the first go. So, let's just play and see if I have any errors. So, at the start... Um, shoot. What are these errors? Something went wrong with the input for... Oh, okay. So what we need to do is not load a save that doesn't exist. And ba bada bada bing bada boom. Please, no errors. Okay, errors. So as you guys know, because like... <laughs> Big brain, look at that. Look at the top right there. Yeah, that's my stuff right there. So I can go in here and just reset my game. Boom. So now you can enter your name. Just say, my name is Paul. Like that. And my Russian name is Paul. Pasha. Let's just do Pasha. Hit OK. And yeah, you also have levels now. So I made it so that you get EXP from buying fish. Da -da 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 -da. And now we can sell all of the fish. Just like that. And we leveled up just now. Congratulations, you're level two. You're rewarded with one pearl. Hooray! Now with that being done and out of the way, it's pretty awesome that we have a leveling system and player data now and the name and whatnot. But I kind of wanted to shed some light onto my fishing system. And I kind of want to refactor it because you can catch 10 fish effortlessly, which is kind of cheating because once you get deeper, you can find pearl fish if you can catch 10 really priceless fish, that kind of defeats the whole purpose of getting a lot of money to buy really expensive fish. So I'm going to make it so that you can only catch one fish, and it's going to be pretty hard. You're going to need baits to catch the fish, and the fish aren't just going to be really, really easy to catch. Instead, it's going to be pretty hard. The fish will have to peck on your hook and eventually just bite your hook. It's probably going to take a really, really long time, but it's going to be worth it because, I mean, look at this. That's all pearl fish, really expensive fish, just, and you're catching them all. I've thought of this before, but I thought I would kind of do something about it later. And I guess later is now, so I have to deal with it. <laughs> yeah, and I don't know if I'm going to get rid of the net catching. I think it's pretty cool. Anyways, let's do it. All right, so I finally hooked up this mechanic. So you can choose whenever you want to go down. Now you can choose to go down. So you press this button and you go down. You can also lock the button if you go here and slide over the lock and it just keeps you going down. Now I need to add functionality to this reel button. So that as you, I don't know, twist it or spin it, it reels you in. So um, <laughs> this actually took quite a while, like three hours or four hours or something to get this. Now let's add this thing so we can reel now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so literally like 20 hours later, 20 hours later of just pure work. Look at this. It's right there, guys. It's beautiful. But let me show you how this looks. Oh my, my FPS are horrible. So now you can reel in and it sounds amazing. And there's a slider right there to indicate how fast you're going and it goes super fast. It's so beautiful. So what I want to show you now is how catching fish is just so awesome. So hold on, hold on. I'll tell you something, brother. Listen to me. I spent at least 15 hours on this stupid fish just trying to get their movement right. And I finally got it, guys. There were so many errors. There are times where they're pecking. They're pecking the hook with their tail. So the fish comes up and boom, peck. And it blows the hook. The blow is a little bit dramatic. Blow, and then you catch it. And look at that. It's, it's so beautiful. But, guys, I have just, I was so happy when I got this working. Now, I want to add a sound effect when the fish blows the hook. All right, here it is. Uh... Yeah, that doesn't sound too great. I hope it sounds a lot better in the game. So, I'm going to go real deep. For this one we're gonna go to the bottom all right let's see if we have bugs oh okay i never even called the function audio source back to the bottom okay let's let's listen to this together oh oh it's so 
Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Ah, uh, I don't know, guys. That's good enough. But anyways, we're gonna move on from here. Anyways, that's it for this video. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And in the next video, I'm going to be making animations for the fish. So stay tuned for that. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time.